We're watching this guy take his eyes completely off yes. the baseball. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I am your host, Adam Peddle. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog. And today, we're just going to be reacting to how the bops were delivered to us. The Toronto Blue Jays losing to the New York Yankees 5-3. to three. Not an ideal game, too. But we're going to react and get into it. But uh, before we do that, guys, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. The whole shebang. And also, too, if you want to hop on the Monkey Knife Fight, today, Jays, is the code. Do it. First uh, deposit, first bet. It, uh, it will help us uh, out immensely yes. over here at the podcast. So let's get straight into it, man. And before we talk about what we did wrong mm. as a Blue Jay standpoint, because there were definitely there things out here that, that were not ideal... Mm -hmm. let's, let's give credit where credit is due. What did the Yankees do right here? Well, Yankees got a total of 11 hits on us today. And I, and I knew this was going to be a big, big hitting game. And especially with Ross Stripling and our bullpen pitching against mm -hmm. them today, mm -hmm. they delivered. And one person in mind who delivered really well was Sanchez, oh. who he's had two homers now in two games against That's us. Scary boy. He's if he can become 2019, 2018 Sanchez, mm -hmm. then that Sanchez is no, no, going to no. make this lineup look even more mm -hmm. deadlier. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want it, man. I don't want it because he really does look super filthy. And and clearly, like, I know people talk about a Yankee killer. Well, right now, he's been a Blue Jay killer. Two home he runs in two Blue games against Jay us. So killer. he's doing super good. Um, For the rest of their lineup, though, and I was looking at their stats, they're not off to an incredible, incredible start. However, I will say that today, they were just giving what was taken to them. Exactly. We decided that we wanted to give them some walks today. And the yeah. Yankees were like, all right, no yeah. problem, man. Walk me to first. I'm all good. Yeah, Dolis really struggled today with the walks, guys. Like, he he didn't look that complete. We brought him in to face the top part of the lineup, LeMahieu, yeah. Judge, and Hicks, and then Stanton and further and further. Uh -huh. um, but he didn't look good. He put him in the We, You know, I actually like the decision. I remember saying I, I did like too. the decision. I do, too. You bring in a good, yeah. one of your best bullpen yes. pitchers to face the best part of the lineup in a situation where we're still close in the game. But Very close. It did not look good for Delise in the end because he ended up walking a lot of guys. Well, I think he I think he loaded the bases off of walks, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. No, yeah, I think, and, I think then, he did. and then we brought somebody else in. Uh, was it Chatwood at that point? Uh, no, Chatwood came in before. Um, Someone came in after. Well, correct us in the chat yeah. then, guys, after who we brought in. But then, I mean, the damage had been done. Like, it's hard not to give up any runs at that point after yeah. we walked three. So, yeah, you're giving them to him. Exactly. You know, and the Yankees, like I said, they took what was given to them. So, again, credit where credit is due. Also, uh, just to recap on their end, how do you think that Kluber looked? Kluber was okay. He it started. okay. He His first two innings, his command was there. And I was like, damn, like this. This guy, like, he looks solid. Like, and Derek from NYY Recaps was lying to us. But then we saw the command starting to lose. It he looked, start to dip. He looked like he was trying to force the ball into the strike zone a little bit too much. But so that honestly helped us as Blue Jays. We got him out really early. Uh, but it did not actually matter because our pitchers on our end were just as well, bad. Well, they, yeah, they weren't super ideal, man. And just to, like period on that Kluber comment. Mm. I do expect him to get better as time goes on. I, I think that Buck Martinez made a great point. He was like, he's probably pretty nervous. This guy hasn't even really pitched in two years. Yeah, exactly. He wants to prove himself. Yeah. And it felt that way. But I do expect Kluber to uh, to continue uh, to get better as the time goes on. As far as stripling goes, yeah. though, um, man, like this guy was just, he was serving up the chicken strips today. Yeah, he, he was he's like, here's some chicken nuggets. <laughs> want a chicken <laughs> They were looking pretty they tasty were looking, they were for looking the players. Nice and juicy man, they were mm -hmm. like hanging right over Crispy, the plate, and they're like, yummy. you know what? I will take that double meal right there. Yeah, yeah, I will yeah. take a McDouble, and mm. I will, <laughs> I will smack that. And Sanchez will take a Homer meal. And, so and Sanchez will take a a, a, Mc, a Mc strip Homer. A Mc strip <laughs> Homer, man. man. It was it was just like. Like we were, it was too easy. It was too easy for these guys. And we were talking about how in spring training against the Tigers, mm. you can get away with that. Yeah. Against the Yankees in Yankee Stadium. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you can't do that. Like Stripling was leaving out all the pitches all over, the, like in the middle of the zone. But I honestly wasn't expecting a lot from Stripling. Yeah. Honest. I remember I actually had a bet for this game with Monkey Knife Fight where I went the under and put outs. I smashed that because that was just, he, I expected him to not even hit five innings. There was no way it was going to happen. But, right. <clears throat> 
excuse me, but that that wasn't the biggest worry of me of the day because I kind of wasn't let down. I wasn't impressed. It was like that was what I, I was got. What I got. I got what I got. As that's kind of what I thought. So, yeah. um, again. Not ideal moving forward. Like I'm not super high no. on stripling, but I never really was. Yeah, and here's the thing: he still has to earn a job once Nate Pearson comes back and Ray comes That's back. Right. Now he's got to earn for that spot. Exactly. It's not there for exactly. him. Exactly. You know, and, and leaving stuff hanging over the plate is not going to cut it. Um, moving on to the hitters for the Blue mm -hmm. Jays. Uh, first off, let's talk about somebody who did really well today. Yeah, Marcus Simeon. Marcus man. Simeon. Woo! Marcus Semien was Holy. the MVP for the Jays in this game. He had an amazing day. A solar homer, a single, two stolen bases, two RBIs. You want to talk about earning your money? One that's, walk. That's what I talk about earning exactly. your money, bro. Two earned runs. He was really, really good for the Jays today. He was the bright spot for this Jays team. And mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do else. Like, Hell as yeah, well, dude. And, and also, too, like... We've been kind of critical on him and, and about his yes, stature in the past. And we've said, I don't know if this is the guy that I want at the top of the lineup. But if you're going to do that and you're going to steal some bags, oh, you're going to create yeah. opportunities, yeah. then you can earn that spot at the top. That's what I want my leadoff or my second guy to do is to get on base, steal some bags, and, yeah. get, and get himself in a well, scoring position. I, I'm going to be honest, dude. I'm, I'm on the Simeon train right now. I've hopped off the critical train. I'm on the Simeon train right I'm now. I'm starting to hop on, bro. I'm, I'm buying on my it. ticket. I'm Buying I'm my on ticket. It. I gotta buy it early though, or else I'm gonna be it, shit all over. So. Exactly. <laughs> I, I'm exactly. here. Second game of the season. Well, I'm again, in. You know, it's like, and he had a pretty good game in the first. Oh, did he have a good game in the first game, or did he? No, struggle? he struck out he a few struggled. times. Okay, yeah. he struggled. My mistake. Um, but today he really made up for it. So I, you know, yeah. wish that we could have got the dub off of that. But uh, yeah. in the end, that didn't happen. There were a couple guys for us that did struggle. Um, Bo Bichette for me yes. really sticks out, and he's somebody who was struggling hardcore in the first game yeah kind of struggling a lot in spring training no too. yeah no Bo, um, Bo, i'm gonna be honest boys Bo Bichette, like i love the guy i love the potential he can bring to yeah. the team but Bo Bichette, man like he keeps trying to swing out of his asshole a tad bit concerned he is swinging out of his asshole yeah. way too early in yeah. accounts yeah and, and yes if you are gonna swing out of your asshole you do it earlier in the count not on two strikes but <laughs> you gotta realize that that's not working I want to look up if for our um, for our Blue Jays Today show coming tomorrow. I want yeah. to look up what is Bo Bichette's swing and miss percentage so far to begin this I season. You say what <laughs> swinging out of his asshole? How many times does Bo Bichette swing out? How of his How many asshole? times does his asshole fell out of his asshole? I mean, guys, realistically, like we're watching this guy take his eyes completely off yes. the baseball. Like the baseball is here, and he's looking at where he thinks he wants it to go. But you, you haven't actually hit it yet. That shit that I learned when I was eight years old is that you keep your eye on the baseball. And they kept, because as a kid, you're excited. If you're a good player, you want to see where that ball's going, especially yes. if you've done it before. And Boba Shed's done it before. So yeah. you want to see the result. You got to actually, you actually you got you to execute the result you gotta first, actually buddy. You got to hit it first, man. Right. And even the hit that he did get today, I, I realistically, I didn't even want him to swing at that pitch because it mm -hmm. was way down and low and outside. Yeah. And, and he was just, he was like on one foot. One hand. Pretty much. One like, hand. Like one hand on like, the barrel. It's like this guy like straight up, like like he got it. But in it the was end, a bloop, no man's land single. Yes, yes. I mean, it was, you know? it was, it was. A so gift. I'm happy that he got it. Uh, but but yep. we definitely need to see some improvement from him moving. Yeah. Forward. We also need not only on the offensive side, defensively, but too. the defensive side has not looked that good for Bo <sighs> Bichette. They look young, man. They they look like guys who have not played they baseball. Look young. <laughs> not okay. I'm joking when I mean like that. They look inexperienced young ball players. Right. Like Bo Bichette, his throws are not hitting the target. He He's yeah. bouncing balls. He's dribbling balls. Even easy balls, bobbling it. Yeah. You know, he just looks and like I'm gonna take this straight from the Sportsnet broadcast. He looked flat-footed, right. straight up on on the uh, shortstop and and the guy he was throwing to also. A lot of inexperience at first base, as we know. Yeah. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. has now, for the second time in a row, has had a play where his foot has left the bag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That shit cannot happen at a major league level at yeah, all. Yeah, we definitely need to shore that up. And uh, and and I get it. They're tough plays. Like these are tough of plays that these guys are making. But you know, we do watch other teams make them all the time. Exactly. Um. So at some point. Uh, we just, we got to take the training wheels off and be like, all right, boys, like 
if you want to take your game to the next level, like this is what you have to do. Like you got Tatis and Lindor and other shortstops around the league making crazy plays and gunning people down and shit. I'm not saying that that's your game, Boba Shett, but I kind of hope that it could be one Yeah, day. you, you got to clean you up know? the fundamentals. If you want to be a starting shortstop in the major leagues, like you got to clean up. You got to go back to fundamentals. And I understand Vladimir Guerrero is put into a really tough spot, like moving on first, but there has to come to it. There has to come a time when you got to clean up that footwork around first base. Like I like the stretches, but you got to keep the foot I'm, on the bag. I am, that's I'm, number one. Yeah, I'm a tad bit more forgiving to, to Vlad because he did make a couple good picks out of the ground today. Yeah. And, he, and, he, and, he did you know, save Boa he, quite a bit. Yeah, exactly. Like he, he was actually, for my part, did pretty well. There was uh, one specifically, though, the one where he did take his foot off the bag. And that, then the one where he did miss ideal. a pick. But again, like Biggio, if Bo's you know, going to keep throwing it into the dirt, exactly. it's, it's, it's like, two ways. It's two ways. Yeah, Bo and it's, it's Vlad a need to, bro, need to, and it's need like to figure it out. If we're not on target, it's like yeah. it makes it that much more difficult for Vlad, and then yeah. errors do happen. Exactly. So, so we definitely got to clean that up moving forward. Offensively, though, Vlad has looked like a stud. Love Vlad. Lad. Love him, what he's doing so far. Uh, we were ju- we were actually saying as we watched the game that that three of uh, the four, the five, and the six hitter on our lineup. Yeah. So Tio, Vlad, and Lourdes, all three of those guys, I'm super happy with so yeah, far. Yeah. Like even uh, like Lourdes today, he had two guys on base. Uh, it was a critical time, and he had a great at bat. He really put the barrel to it. Mm. It just so happened that it lined directly Straight to left field to, uh, to the Clint left Frazier. fielder, Clint yeah. Frazier. Um, that's too bad, man. Like, but a really good at bat. Yeah. And, and up until this point, like those guys for me are doing really good, and I love to have them in the heart of the lineup. So yeah, definitely. I'm happy with that. Definitely moving forward. Those are the guys that I want to look at. Guys to look forward to improve are definitely going to be Bo Bichette. Mm-hmm. Rowdy mm-hmm. Telez has not looked good. No. Um, Danny Jansen. I mean, I did Danny's, want to see Kirk uh, this game yeah. in that, especially that last half. It was Joe Panic, uh-huh. but uh-huh. whatever. You, yeah. It is what it is. But guys, let us know yeah. in the comments down below below what do you think about the blue jays after the first two games we're one and one mm-hmm. rubber match tomorrow we're going to be going live if you want to yeah, check are. it out we're going to be doing our play-by-play reaction we got tim Meza versus domingo herman so that's going to be a good game to see who's going to take that first series between the blue jays and the ad case wait is tim Meza tomorrow Sorry, sorry, I totally fucked up the name. Uh, um, it's Zoic, right? It's, it's TJ, TJ Zoic. Yes. These guys kind of blend to me as these all these up and coming like reliever could be starters. Like, oh, yes, well, TJ let us Zoic. know your score predictions in the comments down below for tomorrow's game. And guys, if you want to check out some more content from Blue Jays today, Spotify, Breaker, Anchor, Radio Public, and Google Podcasts are the places to do that. Also, Instagram, TikTok, Relevant. We went live on Relevant today for the first inning and uh, and had a great time, man. Uh, three a month and you become a Patreon. You can call into this show on the Wine Unwinds. Mm-hmm. We're going to start going live for those more often and they're yeah. a lot of fun, man. We have you guys in the comments and we're kind of talking to you, talking to our... Just, we're talking. We're, we're talking. talking man. We're just talking. We're just straight up talking. We, we pull some questions out of a box. If you have any questions, and really make them, you know, make them silly, make them weird, yeah. man. Like, you know, obviously, I love talking about the potential of the future of the yeah. Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah. No, but I'm, you could even be like, you know, how many how many poops does Bo do yeah. on a regular basis? Guys, I straight up like yeah. went to acting school. Like, I like to get fucking wiggy with it. You know, I like to, wiki, wiki, yeah, wiki. I like to get, I we're, like to we're get back in the nineties. You know, hip-hop. like I'm like, I want to get fucking weird, you know? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and go Jays go.